these stories are just starting to come out more. And I, I if anyone has someone they believe is a real role model in, in set of sports, I want to hear it. Okay. Because I'm I'm searching. I'm searching deep because once again, these are not the stories that are usually told in the media. It, it's just not how it is. Because nobody cares, apparently. Well, I do. We care. We care about this on the Don't Tell Mom Sports Podcast. So we have a new player. We have a new athlete for the real models, the real role models in sports. And his name is Jonathan Isaac. Okay. For those of you that don't know who Jonathan Isaac is, he is a forward on the Orlando Magic. Okay. So this is why I believe that he is a role model. Let's hear his story, right? So the Orlando Magic star forward, Jonathan Isaac, has launched a brand new sports brand, a, a, a sports brand called Unitas. Cobrizzi, have you heard about Unitas? I have not. It's just started. It's just started. But the brand is centered around faith, family, and freedom. Jonathan is an outspoken Christian, and he's always put his faith in God first to lead him in his journey to righteousness. When interviewed by Daily Wire's own Brett Cooper, he explained why he believes he was called to create this company. Isaac stated that, I do see this as something that is bigger than me. And for that, I had to give glory and honor to Jesus Christ. In 2020, Jonathan was signed by Nike before suffering an injury, and therefore Nike did not re-sign him. That's, that's a kick in the nuts, right? My goodness. His pastor, Dr. Dur uh, Duran Hepburn, encouraged Isaac to not give up and to start his own shoe company. Basically just saying, hey, screw these guys. You're talented enough. You're such a good person. Why don't you just do it yourself? We don't need Nike. So when discussing, when discussing the cornerstone of Unitas, the former Florida State alumni stated, True greatness is the embodiment and the and the thriving towards the values that we want to see celebrated in our marketplace and culture. It's one thing to say we stand for these values. It's one thing to shout faith, family, and freedom from the rooftops. But if we are not walking the walk and talking the talk, then what does it really mean? Dude, Cobrezi, Jonathan Isaac, this is a man. <laughs> this is a strong man. The reason being is because this is a man that stands up for his faith no matter what. Jonathan, Jonathan believes that true greatness is achieved in none other than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Isaac said in his last remarks about true greatness that Jesus Christ is what makes us truly great. And so we can step into the world as we are with boldness and confidence and say, I am truly great. I don't need to measure myself by world standards. And that is why, and that is what Unitas is all about. I love that quote by him because Isaac is saying that I, Isaac states that we don't need, we don't need this media hype. We don't need the things that uh, that the that they're trying to push you into. Okay, you don't need that. Okay, you can be great, and especially walking in the path of Jesus Christ. I believe Jonathan Isaac's a real model, role model in sports, everybody, and. I, I honestly believe that we need more selfless, strong-willed, and faith-driven athletes in our sports world today. I mean, honestly, if we continue to highlight idiots like John Morant, Zion Williamson, James Harden, all biggest douchebags in the NBA, or even LeBron James, which we can go on uh, talking about him and why I do not believe that he is a role model, but kids will want to be more like these idiots. If you keep hyping them up, if you keep putting them into the news and showing their highlights, kids are going to be more like the, want to be more like them. Being a pro athlete, it's not it's not only a privilege, but it's a God-given talent. God gave you the drive to keep pushing forward to be something more than what you were or what you are. Show the kids of the next generation what God has done for you. And that's just not that that's not just putting a ball into a hoop. All right. It's it's how you hold yourself off of the court and how you stay with your faith no matter what. Thank you, Jonathan Isaac, for showing me that the NBA still has some class. Cole Breezy, you got anything to say about Jonathan Isaac? Great, uh, great story there, Max. Um, you know, it's funny because, uh, like you said, everybody's seeing the clips of Zion and Ja and James Harden bitch slapping somebody in Vegas, but yet, like ESPN and uh, networks aren't covering this Jonathan Isaac story. You know, nope. Um, number six pick out of Florida State. Mm -hmm. uh he's been hurt he tore his acl i believe in the bubble missed missed a lot of games but got a lot of potential on the court seems like he's got his head right off the court 
And I'm I'm hoping for a good season from Jonathan Isaac. That Orlando Magic team is a young, upcoming yeah. team. Yes. Got a lot of a lot of top picks these last few years. Let, let's go win some games, Orlando. Definitely. Very young team. And I think Jonathan Isaac could be a, a big he he seems like a leader. He just seems like a leader on and off of the court. And I think that's what the, that's what Orlando needs with this young group. And Jonathan Isaac, you're the leader. So come on. Keep keep uh let, let's see if Orlando can make the playoffs with you.